Alone. Ooh, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And the batteries are actually 99 percent. 25,536 to operate this house. It's so beautiful. Our first night here. December 30th and we've been living here for about a week so we have some uh, numbers in which are very exciting to share and that is the electricity because as you guys know here in the Philippines it's one of the most expensive electricity on the planet so <laughs> when you're thinking about moving here renting or even building your own house you have to take in a big consideration your electric expenses and we invested a lot into that, about 1.2 million pesos in a 24 kilowatt system. With that came the uh, three battery packs, which I might actually expand into five in the future when we have all the appliances in the house. But now that we have about a week, we have the numbers in and the system uh, shows us exactly how much we have used. So we can compare that kilowatts to if we were buying it from the local uh, electric company here. So for the first seven days we have 133 kilowatt and the prices here is 12 pesos so times 12 times 133 kilowatts is 1596 so that's what we spent in the first week of living here. And if we times that by four, for four weeks, 6,384. So we would spend in about a month, 6,384 pesos. But the crazy part about that is that we're only using one aircon as of now and one fridge. And this is not even the correct one. So soon, next month, uh, or two months from now, at least next month, we will start using the aircon that's in the electric room. That's gonna be on a timer. So during daytime, when we're producing well enough power, we can turn that on during the daytime, as well with the pantry. So we will have those two on always 12 hours a day. And then most likely, when I'm in here in the office, that's gonna be the third aircon, and then, also likely someone uh, in the living room you know where the kitchen is there's a chance that that might be on as well so this number here is at least gonna be quadrupled but before i do that calculation we can share also how much we're saving by being here already so if the that's the electric price for this month 6384 minus the rent as well so already in january the first month we'll be saving 41,384 just by living here instead of renting that's fantastic of course but that's not all once we start calculating the rest of the electric appliance for example this month the estimated electric price of 6384 and let's say you run four air conditioning and then a lot more appliances and lights. So let's just say that's the minimum times four. So each month, just in electric, 
we estimate 25,536. 25,536 to operate this house. And that's the lowest estimation. So in the future, our electric bill is even higher than I thought of, which is a good in a sense, because that means we're gonna pay off, pay off the uh, solar system even faster. So roughly in about maybe four years, let's say, let's say 12 months times 25,000, that's 306,000. Sorry about my bad writing, but that's probably the uh, one year of electricity. 306,432. And if you divide that by the uh, panels and all of the system, divide that by 1.2 million, that's uh, 3.9 years to pay it off. So as of now, while the prices are like this and it just keeps going up, it's a no-brainer to do the electric system. But of course, this is not 100% accurate. This is rough estimate of uh, what's happening here with our system. So far, extremely happy. That's a sunrise. Beautiful. First sunrise. Wow. The boys. <laughs> boys. First sunrise. Unbelievable. Yeah. Very popular song. And one of these things, I just thought about it earlier, I asked Brian, get me the SMB. I want SMB, it's my favorite drink. But then, we have red horse. Why, why is there a red horse? To be, to be integrated into Philippines, this connection. Red horse is Filipino green. So here we are drinking red horse instead of mine. German <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I want to say thank you guys for your hard work. It was really tough in the beginning, in March, when it was really hot and you guys stuck around, you got heat strokes, and I'm just really grateful that all of you guys stayed together in that hard time. I also wanted to bring as many people that are living here to work for me, Raymond, uh, where is JR? JR? Barut? So I want to be part of this community. I'm not just here to live as a foreigner. I want to be part of everything here. That is my goal in Philippines, to be integrated with you guys. Enjoy the small present we have. I want to wish you guys a happy new year. 
Merry Christmas, and hopefully the next one will be as good as this one. So thank you guys very much. They don't want to play with you, Thor. I think they're scared of you, boy. Boy. Boy, careful. <laughs> Yeah, what is it? It's a brown rice. And my favorite <laughs> dried <laughs> fish. Yeah. It's a mungu with chicken. Testers. Yum yum yum. Mmm, soup. Hey. Squash from the land. We harvested this uh, squash, what, one or two days ago? No, just today. Oh, today? <laughs> A new one. Mm. From our form, uh, foreman. Alone. Ooh, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That is strong. That is the strongest I've had. That's why I really not big fan of that that one is too much. That was too much. Woo. That is a kick. Wow. We just say goodbye to all the workers, they're going home, tomorrow's 31st, so a holiday tomorrow and then the next day as well, and then uh, most of them are back on the 2nd, but then uh, we, the, the foreman already reduced the numbers of them uh, for next year because most of the heavy lifting is done, this is basically the only thing I think part left here. The skilled workers are the ones left. Yeah, so only skilled workers are still here with us. A couple of more months for sure. Finishing the swimming pool something? Yeah, next year we'll start the uh, swimming pool. <laughs> That's the last thing we're doing. Is this like a trap? So we put some the cover and then uh, yeah. a deer or a pig walks over it and poof, no. trap. No? So I think we moved in here 23rd and it's the 30th. So it's exactly a week now. But in this last week, we really haven't shown you guys the update the guys have been doing. So let's do a quick tour around the house, what they've been doing, because I think it, uh, this last week has been boom, 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 super fast. Okay, let's go. Make it fast. Come on. And then we'll share our thoughts <laughs> of living here for a week. <laughs> I thought you were going to say give boom, boom. <laughs> First and foremost, cemented here the uh, balcony area. My opinion is it's, uh, it's not that crazy big. We've seen a lot of the comments saying how big the house is, 
but you can kind of fake it as it is really big. For example, this three meter roof here is just roof. This is not the house. The house is like the extension on each side of the house makes it almost double in size. And also uh, we read a lot of comments saying that we should not put the swimming pool, I mean this roof with the swimming pool in it. Actually, uh, there's no water going there. <laughs> there's a pipe. Drainage. Uh, to drainage the water. And then the swimming pool is not this one. It's like all the way here. Like here. So they're gonna put a heavy, you know, cement one day filling all in cement. Yeah, we'll see that next year sometime. And big change here inside. Yay! We started to do the ceiling. So our living room, we decided a lot of things with that, you know, brainstorming what was the best to design. And now we come up with the two um, cove light here. It's not that deep, so it's really beautiful because this is will be the chandelier here, not chandelier. Chandelier! <laughs> now there's a light coming up here for the... Uh, Very nice chandelier, guys. Oh. High quality bamboo oh. straw chandelier. Hey, it was a beautiful, like, let's say... Locally up. made chandelier. Based on my experience upstairs, the lights that we've been using, we're using LED. It's so bright. Have you noticed? True, but... Everywhere around there, that's uh, LED, but it's not flashy no. like down. It's really just creating a nice effect up there. Yeah, and I did not put any um, any center light here because it's just gonna be more light here and there. So yeah, this is only for the you know to go there. But and then of course, tiling has started here on the ground floor. And this is the color that we choose. And that's the finishing touch. It's done here. That's the tiling. I don't know if maybe look like. Um, something like but it's it's like a um, ivory, it's ivory orange or something. And speaking about tiling, the uh, first and second room are done. I think. Look at this. First room complete done. with tiling. Second, second room, room done. Our hallway and into the master bedroom. Oh, careful! It's new. We don't wanna. Same thing I hear about the balcony. This is uh, one and a half meter outside, so extension all around the house for a path. Do, 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 do. Path all the way there. And of course, the septic tanks, extra water tank. This is all done. Oh, and then again, the piping here for the rainwater through our drainage system. This is obviously going to be covered in the future no, um, be or painted, except here on this side. This is where we put the pipe in the wall because we want to keep the front area, the porch area, as clean and beautiful as possible. But when it's on the side of the house, no problem. And next year we're going to start our swimming pool. Next year, that's in one and a half day. Oh yeah. <laughs> In few days, in few days next year. By the time you guys see the video, Happy New Year for sure. The main question is, can I reach the top? Careful. Maybe when I jump from this one, but not now. <laughs> so close. <laughs> when times I can judge. Raj, are ready to put the gypsum some more. And welcome to the pantry. Ready to start tiling, and this is for the air conditioning. Yep, the good So with this one, we have one is for aircon, and then there's a piping there. I think that's coming from uh, yeah. the aircon on the other side for the big living area aircon. Okay, just to round off the video, uh, maybe let's share some thought of our first week here living in the house. Uh, obviously it's been really hectic after we moved in uh, we took like uh, three four days off and then uh, just sinking everything in enjoy the this uh, place without filming or anything but now we're kind of back to regular schedule and uh, so it's it's pretty hard to really put it to overall feeling of being here because there's still so much left to do 
but already Didn't we you? are enjoying it obviously you know incredibly we're obviously very happy here you know who wouldn't be in this place so that's you know given and you know maybe you don't even have to ask that question but you know what the adjustments we have to done so far is I, I would say the temperature has been the biggest shock oh yeah for me too I always wear jacket at night no <laughs> you don't turn the aircon on at night time <laughs> hey, uh, even in the morning we wear jackets but I think it's also because it's December and uh, almost beginning of January so that's the two coldest month <laughs> coldest month <laughs> <laughs> which is about I think oh we need to buy a temperature meter yeah I, I will yeah so we can put one outside one inside yeah. and then we can share exactly how how the cool it is but daytime obviously it gets hot <laughs> but i think that has been the biggest shock <laughs> what's your thoughts so my far? thoughts so far being here in the house our home uh it was amazing to waking up with sunrise you know every day we wake up yeah. five o'clock <laughs> and we sleep early here you know yeah. and we eat early dinner and, oops and we love it. Uh, still, already sinking. I mean, sinking. <laughs> it's already sinking in me about moving here. It's just the feeling is coming. Like you know, like wow, this is it. This is it. How much more if it's already finished? You know, uh, we moved in already without an uh, unfinished home, but still, like it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, think about what we've done so far in the Philippines, guys. We have uh, maybe helped building uh, Sherlin's family home mm. in Cagayan. Uh, I built a school in Cebu for 40 plus girls. Uh, how many things we've done for other people, but now we are finally doing uh, our thing for the future. So, you know, it's it's been a long, long way coming. And I, I also think that those things we did before helping out other people is a blessing in the disguise because we would have never found this spot if we had just taken a decision let's build a house in Cebu yeah you know what let's buy a condo in Cebu you know something like that we we never would have been here if we had done that right away it's so true because we we even decided before like uh, maybe we're gonna stay in Mwabwa or it's yes. thought about the CR go a lot. Oh yeah, we're thinking in Shargo too. And even in Kuron, right? And then again, guys, uh, you know, we are the first house here in this area. All the lots, it's about 11 hectares. All the lots have been sold out here. So you'll uh, see probably in the future. Yeah, we have, we know that there's a two houses coming up. Yeah, already. So, uh, even though we're, when you see in the drone shot, only our house there, <laughs> that's gonna change. <laughs> yeah, we have, also we have a lot of neighbors actually. We have one, our neighbor down there, he is building a massive Big house. house. <laughs> yeah, huge one, much bigger than this one. So, uh, one thing I really like about this place is the neighbors. Very good neighbors here. Yeah. Yeah. The second floor, this is complete. Yeah, we'll complete uh, aside from the uh, the view deck. All right, so um, <laughs> yeah, when I post this probably tomorrow morning, which is New Year's <laughs> Eve, New Year's resolution. A uh, healthy life, good health, and that is original. Always, they always have that good health, safe safe you know safe travel for you always you know the new year's solution is something to change right yeah uh new year's solution is to be sexy again <laughs> just kidding and double the size belly you have a double size <laughs> <laughs> <Joking. laughs> <laughs> all right let's see we'll figure out something in the tomorrow we'll see we'll see you know like uh in the long run maybe mm. there's something coming something to come out oh, i need to do this to do that we obviously have a lot of updates, but we have to show you what's behind the camera now. We've done some cleaning around the second floor, and uh, I've got a new desk. It it's really has motor and everything. It, lots of cool stuff for next year, guys. So uh, stay safe.
Happy holidays! The holidays. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Bye. See you 2024. Bye. Peace!